From Jane Austen to Walt Disney, she's excelled for them all. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Emma Thompson performances. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've gathered the best and most memorable films and TV roles from the much-loved English actress. I am Nanny McPhee, small c, big P. Number 10, Francis, the Winter Guest. This is my body and I can do what I like with it. I can get fat if I like, I can cut my own hair. A regular collaborator with Alan Rickman throughout her career, Emma Thompson takes center stage here for Rickman's directorial debut. She plays Frances, a woman who must contend with a visit from her mother, who's played by Thompson's real life mother, Phila Delore. I was a young woman when I had you. With a young woman's preoccupations, you me to care. There's trouble afoot, emotional turmoil, and more than the odd argument, but the pair pin together a movie invested in everyday families, friendships, and relationships. And Emma scooped a wave of indie film award nominations for her work, too. Listen. It's a boy playing that. Number 9, Vivian Baring, Wit. Starring in this hard-hitting screen adaptation of a stage play about one woman's battle with cancer, Thompson reminds us of her immense acting versatility. I'm in de terrible pain. Susie says... Ah, I need to begin, begin aggressive pain management. She takes on the role of Dr. Vivian Baring in her final weeks of life as she undergoes painful treatments for her illness and reflects on the world around her. The actress gives a tender portrayal of her character's vulnerability and shows us the importance of kindness and compassion. It's a lower profile movie than most she's in, but a must see for any Thompson fans. This is my play's last scene. Here, heavens appoint my pilgrimage's last mile. Number eight, Miss Kenton, The Remains of the Day. I know from my own experience how a house is at sixes and sevens once the staff start marrying each other. Nominated for multiple Oscars, this film gained some serious attention, including sincere appreciation for Emma Thompson's keenly tuned performance. With Thompson playing Miss Kenton, the housekeeper of an estate in the 1930s, she forms a relationship of sorts with her colleague, a butler named Stevens. Miss Kenton. It was never the same after she left Stanton Lacey. I ended in my own notice six months later. I'd be lost without her. But their friendship proved more difficult than first anticipated, as Stevens continually rejects her. And so, Thompson's warm and endearing character gently battles to make an impression, throughout a frustrating but gripping and spirited story. Why won't you show me your book? This is my private time. You're invading it. Oh, is that so? Yes. I'm invading your private time, am I? Yes. What's in that book? Come on, let me see. Number seven, Gareth Pierce in The Name of the Father. For a film based on the true story of the Guildford Four, who were falsely convicted of pub bombings in the 70s, Emma plays a supporting role and her amount of screen time is relatively brief. Someone, either that man or, or his superior, or his superior's superior, ordered that these people be used as scapegoats by a nation that was paying for blood My Lord. in return for the innocent blood spilled on the streets of Guildford. Nevertheless, her infrequent moments provide some welcome injections of hope in a storyline that's otherwise quite harrowing. It's not the stairs that are killing your father, Jerry. Why, what is it then? It's your lack of faith. Lack of faith? Faith in what? In yourself. Ultimately, she earned herself a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her performance as Gareth, the lawyer who unearthed the game-changing inconsistencies of the case. And while it's Daniel Day-Lewis who takes the lead, Thompson plays perhaps the most vital character. This alibi for Jerry Conlon was taken by Mr. Dixon one month after Jerry Conlon was arrested. This note was attached to it when I found it in police files. It reads not to be shown to the defense. Number six, Professor Trelawney, the Harry Potter series. Another supporting role, but another standout character. Have I said something? As the divination teacher at Hogwarts, Professor Trelawney, our actress is pretty hard to miss, although she's virtually unrecognizable, with thick glasses and back-combed hair. And in the few scenes she is in, Trelawney proves entirely unique. 
Uh, you may be young in years, but the heart that beats beneath your bosom is as shriveled as an old maid's. Your soul as dry as the pages of the books to which you so desperately cleave. From awkward arguments with Hermione Granger to pivotal prophecies about the Chosen One, she also has an uncanny ability to put her foot in it, providing comic relief with some questionable predictions. The truth lies buried like a sentence deep within a book waiting to be read. But first, you must broaden your minds. First, you must look beyond. Number five, Nanny McPhee, Nanny McPhee. To another unrecognizable role, this time is the children's governess, Nanny McPhee. Good evening, Mr. Brown. I am Nanny McPhee. This family favorite sees her character try to control several children who have driven all previous nannies away, and she is not one to take any prisoners. You are to stop what you are doing Put the kitchen to rights and go upstairs to bed. Did you hear what I said? An expertly delivered, light-hearted role, she eventually transforms from a scary teacher figure into someone the kids learn to trust. There's magic throughout this story, and this Thompson 10 is right at the heart of it. How's the reading coming along? It's much better, but I still haven't got to the end of that story. Number four, Karen, Love Actually. Well, but this is my other slightly special personal one. Thank you. That's a real first. This festive fave is famous for its intertwining storylines and stellar cast. But even alongside everyone else, Emma Thompson shines as the Prime Minister's sister Karen, whose husband goes behind her back with another woman. It's all for you, sir. In one memorable and completely heartbreaking moment, her realization hits home for an emotional few minutes before an equally unbearable confrontation scene. And all of this alongside Alan Rickman again. What a team those two made. Would you stay, knowing life would always be a little bit worse? Or would you cut and run? God. I am so in the room. Classic fool. Number three, Eleanor Dashwood, Sense and Sensibility. Eleanor, where is your heart? What do you know of my heart? What do you know of anything but your own suffering? For weeks, Marianne, I've had this pressing on me without being at liberty to speak of it to a single creature. It was forced on me by the very person whose prior claims ruined all my hopes. Not only did she star in this film, but Thompson also wrote the screenplay, which was, of course, adapted from the classic Jane Austen novel. All in, it earned her several awards, which isn't all that surprising. Thompson plays Eleanor, a quietly reserved character who's said to represent the sense part of Austen's title. I do not attempt to deny that I think very highly of him, that I greatly esteem him. I like him. Esteem him, like him. Use those insipid words again and I shall leave the room this instant. Hey. But this is no super stuffy period drama, but a snappy contemporary take on a classic, with Thompson's performance proving a driving force for its eventual success. Then you... are not married. Number two, P.L. Travers, Saving Mr. Banks. Room here for everyone, gather around. Constable's responsible. Now how does that sound? No, 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 no. Responsible is not a word. We made it up. Well, uh, unmake it up. In this star-studded outing, Emma Thompson plays P.L. Travers, the writer who created Mary Poppins. But life isn't such a spoonful of sugar when Travers is faced with a decision on whether to sign away the rights of her previous character and novel to Walt Disney, however. Apologize, Mrs. Travers. I'm done. DeGrady, the, the scriptwriter. Co-scriptwriter? I shall certainly be having my say, Mr. DeGrady. DeGrady. Uh, wonderful. I welcome your input. If indeed we ever sign off on a script. Conveying her character's inner turmoil, Thompson brings out the tension in different guises, forcing the audience to both dislike Travers and immediately warm towards her. The until then largely untold story behind one of cinema's most famous movies, Thompson is a triumph. What is this? They all have difficulties. Jane can do anything that anyone else can do. Do you understand? Number one, Margaret Schlegel, Howard's End. Our winner, 
Emma's role as the strong-willed Margaret Schlegel, who gets caught up in a saga over an inheritance. Margaret, I don't think you quite understand. Oh, yes. Indeed, yes. I'm asking you to be my wife. Yes, I know. I know. Are you offended? How could I be? And while the film looks at the story across three different families, Emma takes the lead with a multi-layered performance. In the face of adversity and in between outed secrets and betrayals, Margaret stays determined, sensitive and true to herself. Couldn't you get it renewed? I beg the lease, the lease of your house. Oh, well, have you been thinking of that? How very kind of you. Surely something could be done. No, values have risen too enormously. They mean to pull down Wickham Place and build flats like yours. And Thompson's portrayal took her to the very top of her trade, bagging her an Oscar, a BAFTA, a Golden Globe, and numerous other awards. Henry, listen, you have had a mistress. I forgave you. My sister has a lover. You drive her from the house. Why can you not be honest for once in your life and say to yourself, what Helen has done, I have done? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.